Hey everybody, this is Mr. Walsh coming at you with a, an explanation for the Gravimetric Analysis Lab, which is the next lab that you need to do uh, in the series of labs. So this lab is actually uh, a common staple of chemistry labs um, when we when we do them. Um, it's common to do it in high school, it's common to do it in, in college intro labs, and it's something that is, can be done um, in, in professional labs uh, a lot of times. So this gravimetric analysis lab has really um, a lot of implications for, I guess, quote-unquote, real-world chemistry. Um, nonetheless, let me go through it. Um, you are listening to me explain right here, but um, for the pre-lab, there's the pre-lab, um, and the reason why I need to make sure that I explain this pretty well is that there are um, four videos buried in the body of this activity, so um, I want to make sure that you, you get it. So the, um, the most important one is this one that is here, this first one, okay? There's a point at which the video goes quiet, um, your <laughs> YouTube or uh, computer phone isn't broken it's just that there it does it goes silent for a couple of minutes but um, don't worry it comes back um, so um, and the thing to realize is that the data is going to be at the end of this video the video is about 11 just over 11 minutes long so you're gonna to have to um, watch the whole video and then at, at 9 minutes and 46 seconds the data comes on don't use any data from any of the videos before that um, dr. Stewart in her video does um, say this all the time but um, you're gonna make sure that you get the data there okay at the end of the video starting at around 946 um, that that is then going to go into the data um, table on page 75 in your lab book so make sure you transmit that or transfer that carefully um, just so you know that there's only six pieces of data that are going to go there three for each trial um, you're gonna have to do the math to figure out the rest of the data that goes into that data table so I just wanted to make sure that you understood that um, so you're only getting the first three boxes of the of the information in data table um, on page 75. So um, the thing that I also want you to do is take a look at um, this video here. Dr. Stewart explains lab and talks about it. It's kind of like um, the excerpt from here she took out and then she made her own video with it and put it here but um it's good and it explains kind of the lab procedures that again you're going to not be able to have access to because we're not doing these live labs so i want you to at least be exposed with some of the things that you're going to be um that you should that you should use in order to do this lab um and i think that there are uh a couple of optional videos. I don't think that there are a couple of optional videos. There are a couple of optional videos. And um, Dr. Stewart, when she made her video, pieced together from two different um, sources. So if you want to see the full Mr. Grodsky video um, about how to do um, gravimetric analysis, that is great. Um, and it's a very great video. I've used it um, a bunch of times, but that you can get here um, you're not going to get anything from the video in terms of the lab write-up that's why I'm calling it optional but it, you're definitely going to see how the lab is performed and kind of what happens um, after you watch that whole thing and then the other one is from um, Mr. Seacrest's YouTube channel um, where he explains how to um, weigh the precipitate from the um, from the results of the gravimetric analysis lab you get a precipitate in a filter paper so you want to make sure that you dry it things like that um, again it's a very good video um, you're not going to use any of the data there and the 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 very important parts are already summarized in dr stewart's videos um, previous to this but um, again i think it's a it's a great um, it's a great video um, just to get down some of those lab procedures 
Um, so then your job is to complete the data table and um, on page 75, the, the directions on how to complete it, the math is below it. So make sure you look right below it. You'll see it says um, question one, fill out the rest of the spaces in the data table. And so that'll be there and you'll be able to see that. And then um, um, and then for question two, I know I say it right here, but I'm going to I'm going to highlight it also in this video. In question two, it says. Um, any, it says, please talk about any possible sources of error for the lab. Um, just identify one possible source for each case that they give you where the molar mass um, may cause, where you cause the molar mass to be too high and one case where the molar mass would be too low. Um, because you didn't do the lab, it, it would probably be um, a little, um, I don't know what I would say, it's a, a little unfair if I asked you to name, you know, all or any possible sources. So um, as you go through the lab uh, or as you go through and you answer it, think about where you're getting your data from and how changing that data would cause your molar mass to increase and or decrease. And then, of course, you have your post lab questions um, here at the bottom. And then lastly, I want you to um, turn this in by email. Um, you can complete it digitally. Uh, you can take pictures of it in, in your lab book, however you want to do it. Um, but just make sure you send me the results by email. Okay. So that is your uh, explanation of the gravimetric analysis lab. So have a great day, everybody.